Hi friend, I want to welcome you to the ultimate guide to troubleshooting your Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. This comprehensive video contains all the resets and fixes I have tested over the years and also some new ones that I found while researching this topic. Whether you're dealing with screen problems, unresponsiveness, glitching, your Kindle not turning on or not charging, passcode log issues, this video is going to cover it all. Over the last decade, I've had multiple Kindle devices and made over 50 videos on this channel related to teaching about Kindle and solving the most frustrating Kindle issues. I'm confident the steps in this video will either fix the software issue of your Kindle or isolate it to a hardware problem. Don't worry, I'll navigate you along the way. Two notes to make. The steps are sorted from the least to most invasive, so I recommend reviewing them one by one. As you go along, you may notice a step that you're unable to perform, let's say a factory reset where your screen doesn't work. Don't worry then, just skip that step and go to the next one. Lastly, if this video proves to be helpful, please leave a comment letting me know. Honestly, hearing this video fix your device is the best gift I could ask for. Enough said, let's fix your Kindle. Let's start with the most basic solution, the soft reset. Press and hold the power button for 30 to 40 seconds, then release it. The screen should power off and the Kindle logo with the tree and progress bar should appear. Give it a minute to reboot. If a soft reset doesn't work, you may need to perform a hard reset also known as a factory reset. This will return the device to its original factory settings, removing all your personal data and downloaded content. From the home screen, swipe down to open the quick actions menu, select settings or all settings, go to device options and select the last option called factory reset. Confirm the reset and allow three to five minutes for the device to reset. You should end up on the starting screen. If you're unable to perform a factory reset directly on the device, you can do it via your Mac or Windows computer. Create a file on your computer named do underscore factory underscore restore. Make sure the file doesn't have any file extensions. It cannot be a .txt or .pdf file. It has to be a file without extension. Once created, connect your Kindle to the computer and copy this file to the root directory of your Kindle. Eject the Kindle and press and hold the power button for 20 to 30 seconds as if you were doing the soft reset. This will trigger factory reset of your device. If you're stuck on the passcode screen and can't get past it, enter 111-222-777 into the passcode area. This will erase all your paper white and restore it to factory settings. If nothing we covered so far helped, try performing a soft reset while charging. Plug your Kindle into an outlet, press and hold the power button for 30 to 40 seconds, and then release it. The charge indicator light should turn back on and the device should reboot. The screen should power off, followed by the Kindle logo with the tree and progress bar appearing. Give it a minute to reboot. If your Kindle is still not responding, try this step of soft reset followed by connecting to the computer. Connect only the USB cable to the computer, but don't connect the Kindle just yet. Without the Kindle being connected to the any power source, press and hold the power button for 40 seconds. After 40 seconds, release the power button and immediately connect your Kindle to your computer using the USB cable. Check if the device is working now. If the device is at least recognized by your computer, you can try the factory reset with a file I mentioned earlier on. Before we move on, I have a favor to ask. If this video was helpful so far, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. My goal is to reach 10K subscribers this year, and with your help, I have a decent chance to make it. Thanks for helping out. Another recommendation given by the Amazon staff is to drain the battery completely. Let the device sit on the page with the tree for a few hours and check if you can access it afterwards. Try plugging the device into the charger and perform the 40 second power button step again. At this stage, we have done most of the resets available. If the screen is still blank, follow the next few steps. 
Let's check the battery. Connect the Kindle to a power source using the original charger and cable. A light should come up next to the port. Let it charge for at least 30 minutes to one hour before trying to power it on again. If the light goes off or charging doesn't seem to happen, move to the next step. Clean the charging port using a small dry brush or a can of compressed air to ensure there is no debris blocking the connection. Review port and your cable for any physical damage. Check the charging cable and adapter to ensure they are working correctly. You can try plugging another device into the charger to see if it works. Also, plug the charger into a different powered outlet to rule out outlet issues. Alternatively, try using a different cable and adapter to see if the issue lies with the charging accessories. You can also plug your Kindle into a computer and see if it's detectable. If it is, follow the previous step to factory reset using the do underscore factory underscore restore file. If your screen is working but the Kindle is freezing, unresponsive or glitching, try updating the Kindle software. Connect it to Wi-Fi and check for software updates by going to Settings, Device Options and then Software Updates. If all these steps have been performed and your issue persists, check for any physical damage. Inspect the screen for cracks or liquid damage. If the screen is damaged, it may need professional repair. Also, check for signs of water damage, which can cause internal issues. If water damage is suspected, the Kindle may need professional repair. If none of these steps worked, contact Amazon Kindle support for further assistance. Describe your issue, advise all the steps you've performed so far, and see what they recommend. They may want to send the device in for repair or replacement. Even if you're out of warranty, it's still best to contact them as they may offer you another solution. They may provide you with a grace period or maybe offer a discount towards a new device. I truly hope this video has helped you in saving your Kindle device. Thank you for watching this ultimate troubleshooting guide for Kindle. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you think I've missed any other steps that people could try. Happy reading. Bye. I truly hope this video has helped welcome you and you know. Honestly, hearing the from a factory reset dialect, if you're stuck on the passport, mm. try performing a reset. If your Kindle is still Inspect the screen, check, 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 check recommendation giving the button. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you think